I looked around me and I was just surrounded by huge mountains. He said, your sister is missing in Colorado. This is like trying to find a needle in a haystack. Suzanne! She went out on a bike ride. She didn't come back. The girls have been calling her, texting her. She hasn't answered all day. I had a terrible feeling. Is that a lion? Yeah, it was a lion. Is that no a lion? Yeah. It's a berry. This is done by a human being. He said, I don't want to hear that. That means somebody's done something to her. There's always an undercurrent when a wife goes missing, the husband comes under immediate suspicion. It did not concern me because the investigators told him, we don't believe you did it, but we have to check everything out. Did you get a sense that here was a man who was trying to cope with something he had done? No, I got a sense of a man that was trying to cope with the reality his wife was missing. I never knew the true crime community was out there like it is. People would post things to Facebook and social media. How are their daughters taking it? How can you take it? You just have to get up every morning and survive. It's just very disheartening to see so many people make conclusions based on so much wrong information. Don't know when, don't know how, don't know why. It's torturous. Not knowing is horrible. You try to see a puzzle, which some pieces may be missing in the puzzle. None of us had any clue. I did not see that coming, given everything else surrounding this case. 